Hello and welcome again to the Rugged Rockhound. This time we are returning to the bird's eye where we're gonna look for those little algae balls again that have the shells in them. <laughs> I can't even think right now. Yeah, so right now, Tim and I are on a competition right now. The competition is to find the largest shell. I win. He, he wants to win. To find the, the one with the largest shell in it and the other competition is the one that ends up being the prettiest looking shell. So those are the two competitions. The biggest shell inside of one and the prettiest shell. So mostly we're going to look for those oblong shaped ones. But at the same time, we're going to look for anything else that just is different or interesting. All right, Tim. May the competition begin. I win. We decided to start by going down from where we were last time just to see what's weathered down. Found one that looks maybe like it's the right shape. Sam said he found something he wants to show me. Ah, we got some nice algal balls in the rock. Kind of like what you see up there. It's got some nice yeah. lines to it. We went down a little bit, but we didn't find a whole lot down there, which is kind of what I thought. But it's always good to check and just see if there's different things. That's the road. We're just up above it, and you're starting to see the algae. We're in the area. Searching on. Found that larger one right there. That could have a shell in it. Let's keep looking. Oh, some nice calcite right there. Of course, calcite weathers quickly, so I won't keep it. But, yeah, nice thick vein of it. Tim's right over there, searching that area. Any luck, Tim? Yeah, we're, we're getting there. We need to get a little higher before we get to the spot where we were last time. I decided to go a little further left than I did last time. So last time we did get up at the base of that power line, um, but we took the route over that way. I decided to come a little further left. Found this, if this is one, that's really nice because it's a very big one. So if it has one in it, chances are it's larger. Who knows? We'll find out when we cut it. For a while now, I've just been picking up some little ones, mostly. And I got into a spot where it's getting a little better. Got a nice little one there, but that looks really promising. Look at the shape on that one. It looks exactly like a shell, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure that'll have a shell in it. Yeah, there's, oh, that looks right. Right there, looks like the right shape too. Yep, we're just trying to find things mostly that shape because they're most likely to be the one with shells in them. Oh, that looks about the right sheep. Maybe. <laughs> you just never know until you cut them. That looks about right too. Yeah, they're quite plentiful once you get up here in the right spot. How far are we above the road? Road's down there. Ooh, about 200 feet. I'm not too far up from the road. I'm trying to focus on the ones that most likely have the gastropod shells in them. Ah, oh, that looks nice right there. Look at that one. Oh yeah, that shape's great. All right, been picking up some things for a while. Mostly smaller ones, but you know, some good stuff. So that's where I'm at so far. I paused because this one might be and if it is it's the biggest one i've found today oh i hope that's a a shell in there that would be so cool okay just up from where i found that big one it was right down there and this oh uh, no i think that's just a bunch of small algae balls you can see them all through that Hmm, should I take that and cut it? You know what, let's give it a shot. Just cut it and see what might be in it. Just 
don't know until you cut it. Okay. This is a good spot right here. This was the good spot last time anyway. Right here, right below power line. Little tower there. Um, I'm finding some other good sized ones like this one. Very promising. And just finding a lot of good stuff. Oh, there's some algae showing right there. Pretty little sphere. Can you guys see anything that looks like the right shape? That might be the right shape. Yeah, that looks about right. Put that in the bucket. That's an interesting shape, isn't it? That is big. Huh. I think I'll take that and cut it and see what it reveals. Yeah, it's like a broken piece of a cylinder. Do I see anything there that looks promising? That, no. Uh, that, yep, that's got a better shape to it. I'll keep that one. See anything else? Ah, that has a good shape to it. You see that one right there? Yeah. Like that shape, that'll probably have a shell in it. Huh. It's kind of a fatter looking thing. Well, we'll take it and cut it. Huh. That looks like maybe. We'll take it. Look at that calcite right there. Not something I really want though. Just found those two. That's something large. It may or may not be a shell though. This one, same thing. However, this one's got cracks going through it. So this one will probably break when I try to cut it. I'll still take it and try and cut it, but it'll probably break. That one though, hmm. Very big, hopefully. Doing, been doing very well for a lot of stuff. Ooh, I think I see one. You guys see it? Right under there. Hmm, yeah, that's a good looking one. But the right shape would have a shell in it. All right, I was over there, been coming across, found quite a few good ones. See, we got some really good ones, and sure enough, looks like we got another one. Good looking one, it's just so plentiful, it's wonderful. Now, some of you might be wondering why do you have a small ice cream bucket this time rather than that big bucket? five gallon bucket you had last time truth is I ran out of five gallon buckets they're all storing stuff right now that I need to kind of get rid of a little bit <laughs> or at least move it somewhere so I can start using the five gallon buckets again but for now that's what I have and if it fills up I'll just take it back down to vehicle I've got a, a box down there I can just toss it in and come back up no big deal all right I decided I've got enough in the bucket I'm gonna go ahead and take it back down to the uh, vehicle which is just below us right about uh, yeah right about there somewhere made it back to Montero dump these in my so that's what I'm gonna use to just fill up with whatever I find okay let's get back up on the hill here on the right side I do not see as many of those shaped ones. So I found that, but it's not quite the right shape. And there's this right here. But once again, I'm not sure if it's quite the right shape. I'm thinking those gastropod shells are mostly over in that area. And as you come this way, they kind of start to disappear. Because that's kind of the way it is in nature. You'll have an area where they concentrate but if you get too close to shore or too deep or whatever, they'll start to disappear. Here you're just seeing really pretty algae, which is still a lot of fun to see. I kind of want the shells. Huh. Nope, just more algae, which is fine. So there's Tim, 
just like I thought he came up over the top here to take a look here. Well, as I came further over here, I'm starting to see him again, so it's definitely a constrained area. I just don't know exactly where. I kind of want to go further that way. But I found a larger one right there, but this is really cool. Look, it's eroded enough that you can see the top part of the gastropod shell. I mean, you can you can see parts of that shell. What do you think, Tom? Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Still got some good stuff. That'll be probably be a big sphere. Still got some stuff, though. All right. Well, you don't see the other little Tim, but I had a... Uh, mostly full bucket that I took back to the vehicle full of the right shaped things and they all coming out right down there. Yeah, we need to right go down there. Down the there. we go up, we won't find them. Back down in it. So Tim's over there. I'm over here. Tim found a few really nice big ones right over there. Looking really good. I'm over here and this is kind of neat. So you got some nice algae there and you can see how whatever it formed around um, a lot of times it replaces by calcite, and it looks really pretty when you have that calcite there. All right, do we see any more that look like shells? Maybe? Hmm, doesn't have the shell shape, but it's big. I think we should cut it and see what's in it. It must be a specific little area that they congregated and it's pretty much just coming out in that area right there. Interesting, that means the first time we came here, the last video we did of the bird's eye, we got lucky. <laughs> we got really lucky. You don't find these gastropod shells everywhere, I guess. So, as so far as this area is concerned, that's pretty much the only spot right down there. But, you never know, it might occur again somewhere else in these these hills. Just anywhere over there. Okay, I made it back to the area where things have been coming out. Found a few small ones, and look, I found another one where you can see the shell kind of coming out. Really cool. But Tim has to show off. Look at the size of that thing. If that has a good shell in the middle of that, could be huge. Then I oh. win. Please, please, please be a shell in there. Tim's been finding a few more down there. I came up a little further, right at the base of it. Finding some more. I've got a nice handful of stuff. Some of them are shells, but some are other things. And I think I see one there. Do you guys see it? Yeah, I'm running out of hand space. <laughs> I'm gonna try and pick it up. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, that looks promising. Oh. That one also looks kind of promising. Some others to be seen. Ooh, I think I see one over here hiding. Yep. This is a pretty good spot. Let's keep looking a little bit. Ah, yes, there's one right there. All right, that's the big area we've been finding stuff right there. I decided to come back down here still been finding a lot of good stuff a lot of good sized things and I got a few more down here but this one was interesting so it's one of those shell ones that's broken open and you can see parts of the shell exposed that's pretty cool yeah I like that listen to that whole bunch of coyotes over there close by They must have made a kill or found something dead because usually they go crazy like that when it's a kill or something. All right, we've picked the area pretty good. There's his big bucket. He's got a pocket full as well. I filled this second one up. And it's starting to get warm now that the sun's up and we're having a hard time finding stuff now that we've really scoured the area pretty good. So I think it's about time we head back down. All right, we made it back to the vehicle. Here's Tim unloading his stuff. We got quite a few things. There's Tim's haul. I made it back to the video. And there's my 
Oh. He's, he's laughing at me because I did a take before this one and said video instead of vehicle. <laughs> All right. We went ahead and uh, had a good day over there in that area. We finished looking over there. Now we decided to come a little further down the road and check out this spot on the hill. We're getting the same color out over here that we, we've been getting over there with the, uh, the nice bird's eye with the shells in it and stuff. We're going to go ahead and give this spot a look at. Over in this area, we're starting to find a few interesting looking things. Nothing quite yet that looks exactly like a shell. But Tim found a nice big looking one that we'll cut open. And he found some interesting stone here. Now that is not from this unit. That's from a different unit. So maybe right above this, we get into the next unit. And that looks like ripple marks you would see in like a sandstone or shell or silt where it's it's water which would make sense and the reason you're seeing those dark lines is probably because there's a lot of iron in it all right now that we've come over to the spot we saw from the road starting to see some suspicious looking things oh there it is that ah, right there that looks suspicious i'll take that back i've been searching the hillside quite a bit Found a few interesting things. Found a round one, a few other ones. This is the closest thing I've found to the shape that you find a gastropod shell in. So I'll take that back and cut it. But yeah, not like what we saw over there. I'm wondering if because of them putting that power line in, digging it up, if that allowed it to have those come out. So maybe we should check where the other power line is. I did it! Just as we are about to head back down to check another spot, there it is. It's a gastropod. And it's worn down enough you can see the outline of the gastropod and it's a good sized one. So they are up here as well. Probably just harder to find though. Alright Tim, what did you find? Oh, the letter C for You found the letter C! Yeah. He's always finding letters and numbers, isn't he? Alright, we finished searching that area right over there. And we found a few things, like a, like we saw that little gas broad shell. We decided to come across the way and wanted to take a look at the red unit above it. We want to see what the red unit's like that is right above the bird's eye. Made it to the red unit and it is a conglomerate. Look at that. Natural cement. Bunch of pebbles in it. Cool. And the pebbles look like they're mostly limestone and some quartzite. Okay, we were just down there. We're gonna head over to that one to see if it's like the other one, see if it exposed some good bird's eye stuff. This will be the last place we check. Let's do it. We made it. Unfortunately, it's right at the crest of the hill and I think we're just barely above the bird's eye. I'm seeing evidence of the conglomerate. That's too bad. That means it will not give us good material like over at the other place. We'll just take a gander around, but there's a good chance we'll just head right back. All right, that is it for today. There's Tim's face poking through there. We're gonna head back now. We found quite a few good things. It's starting to get pretty warm with the sun coming up here. It's still, still summer, near the end of it, but still summer. It was a great, great day of finding stuff. We're heading home and unfortunately we won't be able to cut all that stuff today we're both too busy to go through and cut that stuff so what we're going to instead do is we are going to have to uh, get together again next friday and get everything cut so on this video unfortunately you won't see anything cut you'll just have to wait until the reveal so the next video after this one <laughs> you'll see what we actually found in all those things probably more of the same but you never know could find something new. Have a good one. There's treasure everywhere.